Hi, my name is Robert Ray with MP3 Carve. We're here at CES 2010, and we're at the Immersion booth. And they've got some really interesting stuff here that Mike's going to give us a demo of. Uh, before we get into the new stuff, that's a sneak preview of what's to come in 2010, Mike's going to give us a little tour of the history here of how force feedback worked inside screens and devices. So what do you have here in your hand? Well, what I'm showing here is some of the electromechanical devices that we actually drive in a different format than what they were potentially originally designed for. We use these to actually make the click to make the device look slick again. In this, what we see is part of the history of what happened in a lot of the uh, cell phone markets where they had existing linear resonating actuators and eccentric rotating mass motors. We would use our software through an amplifier to drive this device to give a very distinct feel. What you're also seeing in the picture here are two other devices, a linear actuator when we look at screens of larger masses, and as well as a very thin strip of piezo that is actually creating a pulse across the glass surface of the touch screen. We're very excited about where our software is going and how we're working with our development partners to drive these forces and effects uh, to figure out um, what's really needed for the consumer and what's really needed for the owner of the product. So let's take a look at a new tablet, which is here behind me. And w what this has is uh, the new piezo sensor in it. Well, yes, you can see that. It would be right back there. We can grab that. Yep. And, we'll uh, shoot through all of that it. in just a quick second here. But the, the tablet, though, that, that has a, a strip of that piezo material down the whole length of the tablet. Well, in that, there actually is a uh, the size of that piezo you saw there that actually is creating a pulse uh -huh. into that uh, screen surface. So it's only two inches long in this yes. whole tablet. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and th with your software development kit, when you get that, there's about 4,000 pre-programmed things that you can that simulate a certain type of material feel or well, or well in the development kit there's a, a a range that doesn't go up to the 4,000 but you do get a, a wide variety of different feels different effects to start your development work with the kit to go out and drive electromechanical devices as you look at the, your potential application for making your new product have haptics all right so this came out in July uh, of this year and we expect to see some type of consumer product not necessarily a tablet out by the end of 2010 well, I say there's you many products in the pipeline that are going to be evolving from the smaller handheld phones to the smaller, you know, PDAs uh -huh. working up. Where we're actually seeing some of the current PND of the portion, you know, personal navigation devices are having haptics in them now, even in the market you can buy from Best Buy. Great. All right. Well, thanks a lot for uh, taking the time to give us a demo and some no some history well, on force feedback. Thanks for stopping by. All right.